Well, the first guy to come to me was, the, uh, I think it was Vince Alvarez from Pacific Blasting. They had the contract to uh, demolish the building. And he told me, he says, we've got to save these pieces. And uh, I said, well, OK, got lots of money, it's OK. It's all there is to it. Well, I thought they were a little nuts. Uh, because some of the piece, some of the pieces that we had to pick up were in the order of close to 35,000 pounds. I found it fun to try and figure out how to pick these things up. Uh, I'd never done it before, and uh, we, I didn't have any guidance as to how to do it, so you know, just kind of had to invent it. You have to grab it, pick it up, transport it to some place, store it then bring it back without breaking the piece. Turns out, because the building was such a uh, pile of rubble, essentially, when we took it apart, putting it back together to put it up on the building proved to be almost impossible. It turned out to be very expensive. It basically was seismically extremely dangerous. So the only way we could put it back up was if we took it apart brick by brick and simulated the fragments back. And this is something that I didn't have a big problem with, but our heritage consultant, uh, Hal Kalman, had a big problem with. I just wasn't enthusiastic. Um, I, I don't, you know, I, if he had wanted to go through with it, I would have done it. But I think, quite frankly, I lost a lot of my enthusiasm every time we, we lost an opportunity to put them on. And in retrospect, I really wish we had fought City Hall the first time around and just gone for them.